Okay, so it's time for some hockey cards since, you know, we know why. Just look at my last, like, ten videos. <laughs> no, not last ten. Like, last three. And you'll know what I, you'll know you'll know why I'm making videos like this. So, hockey cards. So, yeah, I got tons of hockey cards. I'm still or I'm still rolling in a few a few players. Um, most of the ones that I got that I'm getting that I'm organizing right now are duplicates because I'm putting them in in boxes and stuff. So, and I thought that since Anaheim is one of the teams that I have 1991, 1990, actually 1990, 1991 cards. But the Ducks didn't come in until I think like 1994, 1995. I might be wrong. Sorry about that. But I'm pretty sure that's when they came around. So I thought it would be cool if I showed my hockey cards to you guys. Because I know some people have done this. And I just I just kind of want to. So it was going to be a summer plan. But then, you know, the coronavirus said, hey, what's popping? And then literally just screwed everything up. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with like the captains and the assistant captains. Um, there are three captains and four assistant captains, and then we get into all the other players. So starting off with Ryan Getzlaff. Now, I do have some pretty good cards of Getzlaff. I have two Ryan Getzlaff cards. I have a 2017-2018 preview card. This is one of the first cards I've ever gotten. Um, I think it's a pretty cool card. I mean. It's got that little, it's got that little like rip right there. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a new one and put this one in my duplicates and use it for something. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll glue, make another poster of that thing right there and just hang them up across. You know, no, I'll probably put them like right here. So um, the other one that I have is a UD game jersey card of Getzlaff when he was an assistant captain. That jersey feels really well. I love, I love this card. Um, I got this card from a mystery card box. It's probably one of my favorite favorite cards of all time. Um, I don't really have a favorite card. I don't even know all of them, all of the ones that I have in my collection. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, next one. We only have one of this card, and actually, it's Chris Pronger. Um, this is a 2008-2009 preview card. Oh, I just dropped it. And this was Pronger when he was the captain of the Anaheim Ducks. I think it's a pretty cool card. I mean, Pr I don't really remember Pronger much. I mean, I wasn't even alive when Pronger was playing for the Ducks, I think. I don't really remember Pronger much for the Ducks. I kind of remember him for the Blues. And then later, the Flyers. So, yeah, there you go. Chris Pronger card. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, the next one that I have is... I think, how many cards do I have of this guy? Um, three cards. So I guess we'll start off with the first one. This one isn't the captaincy card, but we'll just go in order. So Paul Correa, rookie finalist, which means like he he was voted the NHL's all-time greatest and win and and a chance to go to the 2006-2007 All-Star Game. I think that this card is actually really cool. I like this card. I like the format of it. Rookie finalist Paul Correa. Now, the funny thing is, I would call my dad Paul Korea because his real name is Paul. And I would be like, hey, Paul Korea," And he'd be like, shut the up, Evan. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so the next one is Paul Korea, another Paul Korea card. This was before he came the captain. A uh, different format, kind of this, this kind of card. So, um, yeah, there you go. And then, finally, we have the captain card. For Paul Korea, it's really, really like golden in the background of his picture, so it's gonna have a lot of glare in it. So yeah, there you go. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, that's Paul Korea. That's it for the assistant captains. Let's get into the. I mean, that's it for the captains. Let's get into the alternate captains. Uh, Corey Perry, 2018-19 preview card. This is the only Corey Perry card that I have. Um, it's a pretty, I like this kind of format, this format I've been used to for a long time. I would buy these kind of cards. So yeah, there you go. Um, next one. Some long time, I know we don't have really Ana any Anaheim Ducks fans on this channel, but some long time Anaheim Ducks fans will probably remember this guy. Nate Thompson, when he, Nate Thompson, I think it was 
think he actually plays for the Flyers now, so that's kind of ironic. And I think he just got injured too, so that's not good. Um, Nate Thompson, when he was an assistant captain for the Ducks, this was a 2015-16 preview card. And I don't know how he's an assistant captain of this team already when he was only when he only played with them for one, one season. <laughs> that's kind of that's it's just kind of it's just kind of weird to look at that stuff. So there you go. Next one. Um, it doesn't really take you to be a longtime Anaheim Ducks fan to know this one, but I think you might. I think like you probably reckon you probably know him when he played for the. Old Winnipeg Jets before they relocated to, to Arizona and then Phoenix and then Arizona and all that stuff. Uh, Tama Solani. He was. This is a 1997-1998 preview card. 76 goals in his rookie year. Unbelievable. He only played for three seasons, four seasons with the Jets. Is that is that five? Yeah, that's four. So yeah, there you go. Assistant captain. Doesn't surprise me. He's his assistant captain already. He scored 76 goals in his rookie year, so, duh. And the most, no and what's really remembered about him scoring those 76 goals is that one over, is that one celebration he had when he scored a goal in overtime. I think, I think, where he like threw his glove up in the air and just peel, 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 fired it with his stick. That's really, that's a famous one. My coach did that once. All right, so we have, what, four of these Four of these next cards, and I gotta admit, I'm not too sure if this is the fake ones, the fake one or the real one. A signed Ricard Raquel card. Now, unfortunately, I'm actually an idiot because he's not an assistant captain. So we only have three assistant captains. We're retired. So yeah, there you go. Ricard Raquel signed. I'm not too sure if that's real. 2018 19 preview card. We saw this before. Yeah, there you go. All right, next one. Uh, this is also a 2018-19 premiere. Oh, I almost dropped it. A preview card. Uh, Ricard Raquel, just a different format. Um, this was like this was like the base pack, and then this was some kind of different kind of pack. I really like this one because it shows. I mean, like the glare is really bad. Like it's like a a glow in like the thing here, and the logo has like a nice texture to it. So there you go. All right, and then the next one is basically just the same the same card, just not signed of the Ricard Raquel card. So not really too much to go into there. And then we actually have our first Opeachy card, I think. I'm not sure. Our first Opeachy card, Ricard Raquel, All Star, because I think he was the All Star in 2017, 18, 2019 preview card. Um, it's kind of the same as his other one. Yeah, favorite card out of those is probably. The signed card, obviously. So yeah, there you go. All right, next up, this is gonna be a long video because the ducks have the ducks are kind of a big part of my collection. Um, Jacob Silverberg. I have two different kinds of Silverberg. I have the base pack, 2018-19 preview card, and then I have the Opichi kind, 2018-19 preview card. Now I'm not sure if this guy actually still is still playing for the Ducks. Um, you don't really hear too much about him, so he might actually be retired. I doubt it, though, because he's only been playing, what, six seasons? Who would retire after, what, seven now seasons? So, yeah, I'm assuming he's still playing for the Ducks. If he isn't, sue me. All right, next up, we're going into players that... Some of you guys might not know that they played for this team. Um, This is the last one of our first page, and then we move on to the second one. Um, We got Matt Bolesky. So, this was a 2010-2011 preview card. I didn't know he played for the Ducks, actually. I thought he... I remember him most for a Senator. I'm pretty sure he played for the Senators. But I may be wrong. There you go. Matt Bolesky has the old Ducks logo in there. So, there. All right, second page now. Now, your next one is... A World Junior Championships card, 1995, and it is Anti Alto. Now, you guys might not know this player, but I'm going to read the little thing in the back here so you guys get a little snippet on him. Maybe you can look him up on NHL.com or just Google him and then see his stats and stuff. 
also became a regular with Say Pa La Pen I'm probably I'm gonna butcher this, I'm sorry. La Pin Ranta at the age of sixteen in nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety two, and was invited to the Finnish League of Club TPS Turku in the middle of nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety three season. A veteran of the International Junior Championships, also participated in a, in two European Junior Championships and two World Junior Championships. He was drafted by Anaheim in 1993. So there you go. Some of you guys might not remember this guy, but I I honestly don't remember him either. So you're not alone. Um, next up, we have a few of this player. Oh, fight just went down on my NHL 20 game here. Um, we have two players. Oh, no, we have two different cards of this player. Brandon Montour. We have the same Anaheim Ducks kind of format here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like I like it. 2018-19 preview card. Going to his third season with the Ducks. Before he was traded to the Sabres, by the way. And then, this is possibly my favorite format of cards. Brandon Montour. Um... 2017-18 preview card. I love these cards. These cards are amazing. I would always go out with my grandma and we'd go, we'd go to our local card store and I would just pick up two or three packs of this kind of card. So I have at least a hundred of those in there. At, at least, actually probably at least like 300. I gotta say. But I really like this format of cards. I really like these. So there you go. Alright, next up. Adam Henrique. Now, he's still playing with the Ducks, I'm pretty sure. He played like eight seasons with the um, Devils, and we, remember, and we remember him for Mike Emmerich saying, well, you guys might not remember this, but 2014, Henrique, it's over! Yeah. When they were playing the Rangers in 2012, or it was, it was 2012, not 2014. Um, yeah, there you go, Adam Henrique, 2018-19 preview card, base pack. And actually, no, it's MVP, actually. Apologies. I don't know my card formatting. Next up. Andre Kase. Not Andre Pilat. Um, in this card, he was going to his third season with the Ducks. 2019 preview card. Only card I have of Andre Kase. I don't really know him too well. I don't even know if he's still playing for the Ducks anymore. I can't really remember. So, yeah, there you go. Next up, now that now I do know where I do know where this guy is now, Carl Hagelin. Now he started his career off with the Rangers. This is a 2015-16 preview card, and he started playing with the Ducks then. And he played for the Capitals too, and I think he played for the Penguins actually. Yeah, I think you want to cut with the Penguins and a couple with the Cap 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 Capitals. Yeah, Capitals. So there you go, Carl Hagelin. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this player because I have no idea who this player is. He played for the My Mighty Ducks. It's an OPG card. Stanish Stanislav Chizdov. Kind of an odd card. Um, This was 2004 to actually 2005 2006 because of the, the lockout, you know. So there you go. I don't really know this player. I guess I'll find out it's during, the, during the summer when I go into my deep research once again. So yeah, all right. Next up, we got um another MVP card, but this is from 2015-16. Cam Fowler, only card that I have for Cam Fowler. Might make some Ducks fans angry, because I know Cam Fowler was kind of popular in that city. So yeah, there you go. Cam Fowler, 2014-15 preview card. All right, next up. We're getting there. We have like three pages left. Uh, Chris Stewart. Now, Chris Stewart, Mighty Ducks, like alternate jersey there. I th I'm pretty sure he actually. Why does everything lead to the Flyers? Like honestly, my last video was a rant. Um, the last this leads to the Flyers because he plays for the Flyers now. I'm pretty sure. There you go, Chris Stewart, 2015-16 preview card. Playing his first season with the Ducks. Next up, we have our second rookie card. We have a 2018-19 preview card for Troy Terry. 
Now, for those of you who don't know Troy Terry, I'm going to read this thing in the back here. Terry skated three seasons for the University of Denver and helped the team in the 2017 NCAA Championship while earning all tournament team recognition. There you go. He played for the University of Denver, drafted by the Ducks. There you go. I don't know. All right, that's the second of five pages done. Let's move on into the next player. And we have a player who's actually really cool. He has my number, 45. Sammy Vonden for the Ducks. Uh, he was heading into his third season, 2014-15 preview card. So there you go. For the Ducks, Fleer Ultra. All right, next up. We have a first time seeing this preview kind of card. Number 15, um, number 15 card. Uh, this is a 2013-2014 preview card. Brian Allen. Brian Allen, I don't really know him either. I don't know much players, really. I know that I just know this player's name. I don't know who he played for or anything besides the Canucks. I remember he played for the Canucks in like 2000. I don't know. So there you go, Brian Allen. All right, next up, we've, we've been having one-card players, and now we're actually going to have a more-than-one-card player. So celebrate. Um, it is Oleg Teporoski, defense for the Mighty Ducks, back when they were the Mighty Ducks. 2000-2001 um, preview card, actually. So There you go. It actually has a really cool back, like a puck right there. With Actually, I think it's his, not, um, his the card number. Not his actual number, so. Don't get too angry about that. There you go. Um, next one is a sideways card of Tevorowski. And this is a... Actually, I guess you could say this is actually his rookie card because it says only one season. So, 1990... 1995-1996 preview card. Yeah. Next up. I actually remember this guy... For the Canadians, but he actually played for the Ducks, too. Saku Koivu. Um, this is a 2012-2013 preview. Um, he played with the Canadians through, through 1995 to, to 2009. Then he was either... Re he was... I think he, his contract expired, and then he re-signed with the Ducks and played with them for the next three years, leading up to the time this card was made. There you go, Sako Koivu, Canadians fans will remember him pretty well. There. Next up, Patrick Maroon. So Patrick Maroon, he plays for the Lightning now. He won a Stanley Cup with the St. Louis Blues in 2019. Don't really remember him for the Ducks. 2015-16 preview card. There you go. We're just going... Trying to trying to roll through these here because this video is starting to get pretty long, I'm almost at twenty minutes here. So yeah. Next up, we have another name that I'm gonna literally butcher, and he looks like Tamas Solani. Um, Lubomir Viznovsky. Sideways card there. Um, to that, he this is a 2010-2011 preview card. Starting to play his first full season with the Ducks, he was traded to the Ducks. I'm assuming. So, yeah, there you go. Pretty good card. Next up, we have Joe Sekak. Don't really know this guy. He was traded after his first season. Playing his first season with the Ducks. There you go. There's really nothing much to him because I don't really know him. Yeah. Josh Lilly, another player I don't really know. So we're just going to roll through this guy here. Um, Josh Lilly, there you go. Good card format. Like the jersey. I really want that jersey. That jersey is great. Awesome. Um, 1994, 1995 preview card, number 48. I'm guessing this is, I'm assuming this is, his, yeah, it's, it's a rookie card also because it says rookie. Duh. So, yeah. All right, next up, we got Stephen King. Don't know this guy either, but he has a long freaking description in the back. 
Um, uh, I'm a, he's a rookie, and he was traded to the Ranger. He was traded to the Ducks after his first season. <laughs> I feel bad for that guy. All right, that's it for that page. So we have this page. We have a full page, and then we have three cards after that. Actually, no. Yeah, three cards. We got a young gun Shea Fedor card. Now you guys, you I know him from the Golden Knights. Didn't know he played for the Ducks. He played five seasons with the WHL Seattle Thunderbirds. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I don't know what it was back then. But I'm assuming it was Seattle. So there you go. Shea Theodore Young Gun card. You probably remember him from the goal. You probably know him from the Golden Knights because I think he scored the first goal in Golden Knights playoff history. So yeah. Next up, we have Gary Volk. Um. Playing his first season with the Ducks, 1994-1995. Preview card. There you go. Nice away Mighty Ducks jersey. Nothing much to that. Um, next up. This guy might take a while. Ryan Kessler. Showing a picture of him getting a hat trick with the Ducks. Um, He's going to his fourth season with the Ducks, 2017-18 preview card. Again, my favorite, my favorite card format ever. He played for the Canucks. I'm pretty sure he was hated by the Canucks and hated for the Canucks. So, there you go. Nobody really liked him, as far as I know. Ryan Kessler, that's all. All right. Next up, we have Bill Hoodler. He played for the Buffalo Sabres in 1992 1993. He was drafted in the um, expansion draft by the Mighty Ducks, I'm assuming. There you go, 1993-1994 preview card. There you go. Next up, we have George Paros. Let me just say, what a freaking mustache. That is literally the greatest mustache I've ever seen. 2009-2010 preview card. Paros played a 200 editor game in his, of his career when the Ducks were in Pittsburgh on... January 16, 2009. Good fun fun fact, I guess. Oh, and it looks like I actually messed up here. Did we already review a player named Gary Volk? Um, apparently we didn't. <laughs> Are you bad or I'm just an idiot? Mm. Probably that I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a huge idiot. It was like two cards back. So yeah, another version of Gary Falk. There you go. I'm gonna have to edit this. I'm gonna have to take edit my cards out later. There you go, Gary Falk. Didn't really know that. So next up, we have Mike Brown. Don't know this guy either. I don't really know much players from the Ducks. There you go. Brown played for the U.S. National De Team Development Program in Ann Arbor. Then stayed in town and attended University of Michigan. So, 2009-2010 preview card. There you go. All right, our, la our last actual player card before we get into the, the four goaltenders that I have. Oops, I dropped it. Andy McDonald, center for the Ducks. 2004. 2006-2007 preview card. Sideways card once again. Don't really know him either. Yeah. Next up. Oh, we're going to get into a conversation with this guy. Because I feel really... I feel really freaking bad for this guy. Jonathan Bernier. This guy's playing great for Detroit. And I would probably say Jimmy Howard's playing decent for Detroit. It's just that Detroit literally hangs him out to dry. And John and Jimmy Howard too. So he started his career with the Kings, then went to the Maple Leafs, then to the Ducks. 2016-17 preview card. A little bit of an interesting kind there. There you go. I really feel bad for him in Detroit. He deserves much better. Next up, we actually have a actually this is one of the hockey guys' most favorite players. We have two cards of this guy. Um, he's actually on the thumbnail. Guy 
Hebert. Um, his first season with the Ducks. I'm per actually no, this card's is the first season with the Ducks. Two Gee Heber cards. This is um the one with his first Mighty Duck season. As you know, this is the one with his first Mighty Duck season, and this is the one with his second Mighty Duck season. Um, I like his name. It's kind of it's almost my middle name. I should put in, I should put an R somewhere in there, and then it's my middle name. So yeah, there you go. E. Heber, we got two players left. Um, John Sebastian Jaguer. Interesting name, to say the least. This guy's been playing for a bit. He played for the Flyers, too, a little bit. Cool tenors, John Sebastian Jaguer. Don't really know him too well, but I know he played for the Flyers for a bit. There you go. And then lastly, the final card of this, of this, um, team here John Gibson we have two John Gibson cards they're the same style John this is actually four three pictures of three different pictures of John Gibson and then this is one John Gibson picture Parkhurst upper deck I like them both um this one doesn't have any rips on it unlike the gets left card at the beginning of this video so yeah there you go that's it for the hockey card collection for the Anaheim Ducks. That's one down, almost 40 to go because I have a, lot, a bunch of other extra cards in there too. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. I'll actually put your video recommendations in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next one.